What do all of these people have in common? Trust me, the answer will shock you. They do not exist. That's right, you heard me. All of these people were created by artificial intelligence. The creation of these types of fake images only became possible in 2014 thanks to a new type of AI called Generative Adversarial Network. In essence, you feed a computer program a bunch of photos of real people. It studies them and tries to come up with its own photos of people while another part of the system tries to detect which of those photos are fake. The back and forth makes the end product ever more indistinguishable from the real thing. These portraits were created by the New York Times using GAN software that was made publicly available by the computer graphics company NVIDIA. Given the pace of improvement, it's easy to imagine a not-so-distant future in which we are confronted with not just single portraits of fake people, but whole collections of them, at a party with fake friends hanging out with their fake dogs and holding their fake babies. It will become increasingly difficult to tell who is real online and who is a figment of a computer's imagination. What do these people all have in common? First of all, they don't exist. Let me tell you why that's a problem. Ooh. Y'all know it was so easy for them to fake this. Just imagine all the things they could probably get away with. Ooh.